Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, I'm bringing you another Destiny 2 video, and basically, I'm talking. I'm going to talk about how getting pinnacle armor in this game is kind of stupid because let's start off with how you get pinnacle armor. So you can get pinnacle armor through the Nightfall, the ordeal, which is I think 100 100k. You have to complete it with 100k. Uh, the Pit of Heresy. When you complete the whole thing, you get one. The Garden of Salvation has like four or five. I don't remember. And master level nightmare hunts, which drop one as well. So essentially, you can get all those, which is like what seven or six in total each week. And that's not even counting like if there's a, an event, because in the Halloween event, there was a, a pinnacle drop for that as well. It was uh, yet to get a level nine. So in the Christmas event, we'll probably have something along the lines of that as well. <laughs> But the issue I have with it is the fact that most of the pinnacle armor is like stat wise is garbage. So I have really good examples. As you guys can see, I have all basically all my armor is uh, masterworked and I only masterworked two of these out of my own decision because I, they were actually really high. So obviously you guys probably know the iron banner ones I did myself because they do not drop masterwork, but I did, I did them because I have two drops that are above 20, if I remember correctly. Yeah, let me let me take this off. So yeah, I have strength and recovery that's both almost at the same, which they're just off by one. And everything else is pretty good. I think the only one that's pretty bad is like mobility and discipline, but I don't care. I really don't like I think strength having strength and recovery is pretty good especially for like gaining my my health back faster because if you saw my stats like I'm at a hundred recovery already and that's like I can like switch stuff here and there like around but mostly it's the this one and this one that are putting in the work because the other ones are like bad like this one's this one's probably the best one because it's all around like even like if you want to go for that even like everything's pretty good then i guess this would be a good role except for like discipline but then again this one's like what grenade doesn't really matter to me too much especially since we have uh what's that perk called demolitionist so for discipline i really don't care too much for it but it's it's pretty bad when this is what I got from doing the first time, the first pit of heresy uh, completion that I did. And it's bad. Like, none of them even hit 20. Like, if I remember correctly, what was it? This is like a 53? No, a 51, I think. Because you have to take out 10 for the recovery mod plus the 12 for all the stats. So, yeah, that's that's not good that's a 51 for a completion of pit of heresy and like I, I feel like if you're doing it solo it should definitely give you like oh something more because i've been running it solo for the past like since it's been out i think only twice i've done it by myself so it would have been nice if we got something else for doing it solo but whatever and it's funny too because like this one i feel like it's pretty bad because I'm either usually going for resilience, recovery, or st and strength. Resilience, recovery, strength, maybe intellect, maybe, but I really don't care considering like I don't really rely on my super that much. So it's basically just resilience and recovery and strength if I can. So as you guys can see, my, my recovery is amazing. It's really fucking great. My, my resilience is, uh, it could be better, but my... My strength is at 70 like my melee cooldowns at 45 seconds so that's really cool this has made me want to think about different builds that i can do with like arc strider with my worm husk crown and maybe like what's it called thunder coil like maybe i can do something around that because i had i can put two dynamos on this and then it can just immediately make my my dodge go faster like i i really like that it's making me think about builds that i usually wouldn't really care about but at the same time it's kind of shitty when you get this when you this is a prime example of what not to get because 
you get something like this and you're immediately like cool so garbage and it's cool like i guess because you get like what six um six enhancement prisms and i think six enhancement cores so it you get meaty like stuff but you don't get an, an ascendant shard or whatever it's called you don't get the, the last one that you need so it's cool but I, if i don't have an ascendant shard then i what the fuck at like okay and it's funny too because like you see something like uh this is a bad example this one no where, where is it there was one that i had 20 and i was just like what the fuck Oh my god, I think I just made that up. Never mind. <laughs> but you see something like... I'll give you a good example. So, the Dream Bane st Strides. Horrible stats, because this is technically, what, uh, 52? Look at this one. This is a six, or 66, but that has a recovery mod, so a 56. But it has a 19 on recovery which is fine it's almost at 30 so if i actually master work this it'll be at 31 so i think that's a pretty good roll but look at this one this is a 23 on discipline already like that's nice that is actually really nice if, if i'm like being honest but it's just really sad like when you get rolls that you're just kind of like ah oh, cool so like immediately garbing like this is garbage like just garbage it pisses me off that here i am trying to get some good rolls for some reason and i just keep getting garbage like look at this 22 on discipline alone like that's not me putting putting it up and then 15 like whatever everything else is garbage but like this one 50 recoveries at 23 that's actually pretty good it'll bump up to like what 35 if i master work and put it on recovery that's pretty good but 57 50 this is actually what i got from the nightfall uh 100k the pinnacle drop i got a 50 what the fuck like that's just that's insulting at that point i i just don't get any good rolls because at this point there's not anything good like it's these two are the only ones that i was like i like these roll enough that i'm gonna especially this one this one was what a 22 wow that took forever a 22 plus uh strength is at 21 like this is a good roll and it pisses me off that i had to like just do iron banner for this when when i'm doing the pit of heresy or the nightfall and it's dropping shit that's like this or like this what the fuck like it it's it and it's like worse for people who are actually doing the raid or the guard or like pit of heresy or nightfall master level nightmares all that shit when they're doing it weekly and they keep seeing drops like this that's on like that's unacceptable bro like what the fuck and it's pro it's ah, oh, dude it feels like just like oh yeah, yeah we didn't want to give pinnacle armor high drops because we want to lengthen that grind we want to artificially lengthen it and it's it sucks because this whole this whole set could have been something really dope because i ended up getting another roll for this that was even worse than this one and i just i immediately destroyed it it's just what it's uh, i haven't seen a 60 drop in a while i think this is the last 60 i had like bro bungie like can we get high rolls like dog even even the exotics don't drop high rolls. Like, what the fuck? Like, I got, I got, like, let me, let me actually pull it out of collections. So I ended up getting Foe Tracer from the Nightfall. And it comes with this. Like, 58, I guess. But there's, like, no 20s on each, like, any of them. This is very, like, this is a very, like, all around, like, this is good with for everything. And it's fine. I mean, like, there's people who like that, but what i'm more just concerned about is that like the nightfall i i did the master level of it that shit was hard and this is the best i got this a 58 was the best i got for an exotic and don't even get me started with the whole fucking uh 
burns for each of the armor sets. That's oh, that's another just idiotic fucking thing that they did all together. But the fact that the dr the armor stats are just this garbage, and I'm and I this is pinnacle. This is pinnacle activities, by the way. This is pinnacle stuff that I've been doing. But you're gonna tell me that I can get drops from this is I, this is not even from like doing anything crazy. This was just me like this is a world drop. So like for me to get this off of a world drop, I think it was Ares' uh, weekly, to get this with this high amount of rolls, and then see this, I'm just like dog, like why even try? Like I might as well do basic bitch shit, and I'll have a better chance to get it, to get a higher level uh, stat roll than this. Like this one drops with okay rolls. This is a world drop. Eh, just kills me, bro. It really does, especially like, why even do panic? Eh, that's, that's that's pretty much it. So I just wanted to show you guys that I, I feel like they really need to get on that pinnacle. Like they really need to make the pinnacle grind better because not dropping with high stat rolls is just like above 60 dog, minimum above 60. It has to be like 60 or above. Like you can't be dropping shit that's level 50 for a pit of heresy run that i did solo by myself right here look at this i did this you know what i got i got this but even worse stats even worse stats to the point where i got so mad that i erased it without knowing that it was a level 953 and i fucked myself but i was so just pissed that i was like the fuck is the point so i erased it and i was like damn it i forgot and i don't even care i really don't like just disappointing really and I, and I got a cloak another cloak and I was like that's cool it's not like I already have one but okay <sighs> very disappointing other than that let me know what you guys have experience with uh, the pinnacle drops are you guys having a uh, high stat rolls am I just the only one feeling this I know I'm not because everyone every fucking content creator is talking about it but let me know in the comments below how you feel about it what do you think Bungie needs to do to change this uh, let me know and if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the continued support and likes and follows and everything. It honestly means a lot when people come into my channel, find me and start talking to me or start talking shit to me. It's honestly one of the greatest feelings ever. So yeah, I will see you guys later.